Good morning. Uh, in this video, we are going to be making stickers in Canva that you can uh, sell as printable sticker sheets or um, print them out for yourself or even uh, uh, sell just the uh, clip art you generate for the stickers. Okay. And to do this, we are going to be using uh, Canva and also uh, ChatGPT or Midjourney. You know, the choice is really yours, uh, whichever one you prefer. Okay. So I have, I have my uh, prompt here in Midjourney. I'm just going to copy it. And this is the last image I generated, a cute little unicorn with a flower crown. So for this one, I am going to use Midjourney and I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, I've got this terrible cold I can't kick. I'm going to input my prompt and I will leave the prompt in the description uh, below the uh, video so you can grab it. And I'm going to change it from a cartoon pony to a cartoon, um, let's say, snake with a flower crown. All right, and we're just going to wait for Midjourney to give us our uh, results, our images. And it's going to give us four different ones. And that way we can choose which ones we like best, which ones we don't like at all. You know, or even just tell it to try again. Okay, it's done. It's generated, uh, giving us four different cartoon snakes with flower crowns that we can pick from. I'm going to click on the image, bring it up a little bit more, I think. Um, well, obviously, this first one is cute, but it has two tails, so that's out. Uh, the same way with this one, it has two tails. Um, this one's kind of cute, the brown one. And then I really like this last one, number four. So what I'm going to do is I am going to tell Midjourney to upscale that number four for me, make it its own image. And then I am also going to tell Midjourney to regenerate four more images. Okay, see what else it comes up with. In the meantime, I'm going to open this up in the browser. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to take it over here to Canva and I'm going to paste it into my eight and a half by 11 design I have. Let's go see what else Midjourney has come up with. It's still working. All right, there we go. All right, so while that's working, we're going to go back into Canva. And there's a little bit of work I need to do to this particular piece of clip art. All right, so we're going to edit photo. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the magic eraser to get rid of this what almost seems like a snake donut. I don't really think that's necessary for the image. All right, we got that gone. And now we are going to want to remove the background. Okay. And I always like to check when I create clip art. I like to put this on a black background and look what it did. It took, looks like, let me see here. Let's see. Oh no. Okay. We just had it on the wrong color black background. It does look like though, if I zoom in here for you, I missed a little piece of that donut. So we're going to go back to edit photo. We're going to adjust and we are going to zoom in here and see if I can find where I missed. If not, we're just going to raise a big spot just so we're sure to get it. I couldn't really see anything but it was definitely there. What in the world? Hmm. That is strange. All right, so we're not going to use this image. And see, this is the thing. You know, you may um, run into problems where some images just don't uh, 
work the way you want them to. So we're going to go back over here to Mid Journey. We're going to see what they came up with us, came up with for us the second time around. Now I really like number four this time. The little blue snake there. So again, I'm going to tell Mid Journey to upscale that one for me. We're going to grab it, open in browser, copy, and we're going to drop that one into Canva. All right, and now we are going to remove the background. That is the first thing we want to do. Okay, so you see how you get, you create your images, you create your clip art, uh, whatever it is you want to do in uh, Mid Journey. Uh, the same thing if you use ChatGPT. Um, you'll probably get a little different style of uh, 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 clip art uh, using the same exact prompt from Mid Journey because they're different systems and they uh, decipher things a little differently. But we'll do one in here quick so I can show you. I use the exact same prompt, create a clip art of a cute cartoon snake with a flower crown. Background white, simple details, bold colors, strong contours, clear lines and shapes, stylized, minimalist, and symmetrical. <clears throat> and let's just see what ChatGPT gives us. <clears throat> see, we get a much, much more simplified uh, piece of clip art in ChatGPT using that same prompt. All right, so, you know, it depends on what you want, uh, which AI pro program you'll use. But anyway, you know, either one, you can use MidJourney, you can use ChatGPT, you could use Adobe Firefly. There's um, several AI programs out there that you can use to create your own custom clip art. All right, once you have the clip art you want, created then we will come back into canva and we will start to resize these and again i am operating on an eight and a half by eleven um design sheet here because that's the size paper that we're you know going to print on so i'm just gonna put that little snake there and then i have a couple others that i did earlier this cute little possum. We're going to put him up there. And here's another possum. This one came from ChatGPT. And you just size them, you know, however you want them. This cute little unicorn or little pony here. Put that in and let's see what else we've got. Let's see what else. All right, here is a dolphin. I do still need to remove the background on that one. Okay. <coughs> and we're just going to line these guys up on our sheet, our eight and a half by 11 sheet. And next, uh, is completely optional. I prefer them this way. I like to put a little white border around my stickers. So I am going to do that. Now, I like to take my background of my page and make it a dark color so I can see my white background um, clearly as I'm um, working so we are going to just change the background to black okay even blue and it also shows you problems you might have do you see this this possum um it deleted his face but that will be okay because in the end we are going to put this on white sticker sheet anyway so it won't matter it just looks funny right now. All right, so we're gonna start with the snake and we're gonna go back to edit photo. And in order to um, get the white 
border around him, we're going to click on shadows. I'm going to click on glow. We're going to change the glow color to white. To make the size a little bigger. The blur amount is zero. The distance is zero. Angle is zero. Let's zoom in here. Okay, and you can see that that is there. And the color intensity, we're going to put all the way up to 100. Let me move this a little. Can I move this now? I cannot. Okay, but you're going to set your intensity to 100, your color to white, distance 0, angle 0, blur 0, and then whatever size you want your border to be. I'm going with 45. I think that gives it a nice border. So now we're going to move over here to the possum. We're going to do the same thing. Border size 45, <coughs> blur amount 0, angle 0, distance 0, color white, and intensity 100%. All right, so now we have that little guy done. Let's go on to this one. <coughs> Oh my goodness. Glow. 45. 45. 0. 0. Color. White. Intensity. 100. Okay. Actually, that one's a little, let's make that one a little bigger. That way it covers everything in the center. That one's cute like that. Let me see how far down I can bring it. There we go. 53 for the, that little possum. All right, and we'll do the same thing to the pony. 45 is the size that I want. Zero, zero. white and intensity 100. Okay, again, just going to repeat the process for all of our pieces of clip art that we have on our sheet. And, you know, we only have a few pieces on here. If you were making this as a sticker sheet to sell, you would obviously put, you know, quite a few more stickers on here to fill the sheet. But for our purposes, we're just going to do these few. Now I can change my page background back to white. Okay, and what we'll do now is we will save this. And we are going to save this as a transparent PNG. All right. And click download. Right, and now we'll name that test test sheet. And now I'm going to open, I'm going to go into my silhouette uh, design studio. Now, you know, if you're using a Cricut, you can do this in creative space um, or whatever your cutting program is. It's completely up to you. I'm just showing how I do it in silhouette. Now that we have those, I'm going to grab my test sheet image, bring it in here to Silhouette Studio, and I am going to resize it so it fits on my sheet. Okay, and you can see because we saved this as a transparent background, as soon as we brought them in. Silhouette Studio automatically knows that it is going to trim and cut around that white um, 
border we put on. Now we can take these and um, you could release the compound path and then get rid of these little pieces inside. Okay, you see them? You don't really want those to cut out on your sticker. So you want to just look over and make sure that everything is going to be one solid cut. And I think I have them all removed. So now you just would send that to your cutting machine and it will cut your little stickers out. Easy peasy. All right. Now, like I said, you can sell these stickers on Etsy as, a, you know, printable, cut your own. You can uh, print and cut them yourself and sell finished sticker sheets to people. You can make your logo for your business into stickers and use them for your packaging and whatever. Um, but this is a really easy way to make stickers and you know do whatever you want with them so i hope you guys found this helpful if you have any questions just let me know below and i'll answer them as soon as i can